I have a friend who at this very moment is uh, on, well, his last legs, basically. He's got terminal cancer, and there's nothing anybody can do other than make him comfortable, really. Uh, it's uh, such a shame. It happens all over the place to many families, many people. And I wonder, every time I, I have this in my life or hear about it somewhere, when are they going to cure this damn thing? What has it got to take? And every now and again, you see someone come along with a bit of inspiration. They stare it in the face and they look at it and say, you're not going to get me without a fight. Or they will do something to be remembered by and try and help other people in the process. And this, this amazing woman is no different. And I'll let you know what I've just found out now. How do everybody? Welcome back to the channel for Friday. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, I'm not too bad. Off out soon. Just had a bit of lunch. Very, very tasty. But uh, yeah, this is a, a sad story. It's tinged in sadness, but there's also a bit of a happy side to it as well. Have a look at this. This is uh, Deborah James, uh, a presenter and podcaster, and she has literally uh, just been made a dame. Uh, for her services to, uh, you know, what she's trying to do, raise awareness of the whole cancer thing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Deborah's at home now uh, and under the hospice care, and her treatment has been stopped, so she's at home spending time with her family and friends, and I, I just want to offer my sincere, heartfelt wishes and, can, you know, everything else to them. But the, this story is incredible about what she's done. And she, you know, if you could draw inspiration from anything, the, this is, I'm, I'm lost for words, really. Uh, yeah, Deborah James says she's blown away after being made a dame for her tireless campaigning for cancer charities. The inspirational broadcaster and author announced earlier this week that she's receiving hospice care at home after stopping her cancer treatment and said she could have weeks left at most. Uh, in recent days, the You, Me and the Big C host has raised over three million pounds for charities that have helped her over the past five years through her Bow Babe Fund. After calls for her to receive the Royal Honour, it's been revealed that Deborah is now officially Dame Deborah. And I think if anybody deserves anything like that, uh, she does. I don't know what to say. I'm blown away Why and feel incredibly honoured, she said, reacting to the news. I don't feel like I deserve it. Heroes and inspirational people never do think they deserve these things, but trust me, girl, you do. Uh, I can't tell you what this means to my family. So much to take in. Uh, Dame Deborah's husband, Sebastian, said the public support uh, for the fundraiser has brought a piercing ray of light and hope into this the darkest of times, adding that the damehood is so truly deserved. Downing Street said the Queen was pleased to approve the honour uh, to be uh, bestowed on Deborah James and Boris Johnson hailed her as a figure of inspiration for the country. If ever an honour was richly deserved, this is it. Uh, Deborah has been an inspiration and her honesty, warmth and coverage courage has been a source of strength for so many people and she's literally worked tirelessly tirelessly despite all the hell she's going through with the treatment and the prognosis and she's raised millions of pounds my my wife you know has been moved to tears uh, by this story because she she's been following along with her and seeing what she does and everything else and i just hope someday somehow uh, this horrible disease is brought to an end and somebody finds a way of getting rid of it altogether. But inspirational characters and people like Deborah uh, show you there is a little bit of light even in the most darkest of places. All the best to her and her family and uh, hope, well, I would say things work out all right, but you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, to Lou.